Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. I am so excited for today's video. I am coming to you with not one, but two crock pot recipes. Both of these are so incredibly easy, limited ingredients, healthy, low point, low calorie, and best of the best, super, super delicious. So if you're excited to see not one, but two WW friendly, calorie friendly crock pot recipes, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload five videos every single week. And I do lots and lots of recipes here on my channel. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, highly, highly, highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. You will find all of today's recipes as well as all of my hundreds and hundreds of recipes on my website. I'll link that down in the description box as well with links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come on over, join my Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's go ahead and jump into two amazing crock pot recipes. dinner in our crock pot we're making five ingredient pulled pork you can make this into sandwiches put it in a bowl add it to salad whatever you want to do with it and I'm really excited for tonight's super easy five ingredient crock pot recipe so let me show you what's in the recipe first you're going to need a pork shoulder roast you could use a lean cut you can use a regular pork shoulder roast Mine is about a seven pound roast because I want to make sure that I have lots and lots of leftovers. You'll also need some chicken broth, about three cups or so, salt, and a couple of spices, garlic powder and cumin. So let's get our roast into the crock pot. The first thing we're going to do is add our roast to the crock pot. I always use a crock pot liner. It just makes it easy for cleanup. And then we're going to season up our roast with the garlic powder, the cumin, and the salt. Now we're going to add in the two cups of chicken broth. So you can cook your roast on low for eight hours. I don't have eight hours because it's about 11 o'clock here. So I'm going to do three hours on high and then turn it down to low for two hours or until the roast is cooked completely through. So the roast is done. It's been in the crock pot about seven hours. I had it on high for about four of the hours and then on low for the other three. I'm going to allow it to cool. We'll shred it up and put together dinner. So I allowed the roast to cool completely in the refrigerator. That's going to make shredding it up a lot easier. So now I'm just going to start cutting off all of the meat. Make sure that you cut off all the extra fat because we wanna make it as lean as possible. I'm just putting it in one of these little metal pans here where I will shred it up once I cut the meat off the bone. Now, if you ended up using a boneless pork roast, that might've actually been even a better idea because then you could skip the step altogether and just shred it up once it's cooked through. Next time, I think I will end up buying a boneless roast and usually they're even a leaner cut of meat. I just went with this one because the fat does usually add a lot of really good flavor. So it's kind of a catch 22, whatever roast you wanna use, but definitely a leaner cut that isn't on the bone would be a lot better. So you can see that I shredded some of it up and then I kept some of it more in like chunk form that you could just eat with some dipping sauce or some mashed potatoes, vegetables, the pulled pork that I have over on this side. I'm going to add some no sugar added barbecue sauce to mine. I'm not sure what Tori's going to do. I know that he's going to have a sandwich and I'm probably just going to have the pulled pork with some barbecue sauce. I'm going to throw some frozen broccoli in the microwave so I get in a vegetable. I will tell you, spoiler alert, I tasted the pork. It is so good. It just has a ton of flavor and it made a lot. And I did cut off all the visible fat so it made it a pretty lean cut of pork. I'm actually really excited about this. So let me plate up my dinner and I'll be back to share points and calories. So 
so here is my dinner. So I have some of the frozen broccoli with a little bit of spray butter, salt and pepper, and then I have two and a half ounces of the pulled pork with some of the sweet Baby Ray's no sugar added hickory, hickory barbecue sauce. It's my all time favorite barbecue sauce. It is so good. Again, you can put this on a bun. You can have potatoes with it, rice with it. I'm just keeping it simple and just having the pulled pork and the broccoli. For tonight's dinner, it is super, super simple. We're making creamy chicken tacos. This is basically a four ingredient recipe outside of the taco shell that you'll need, but I'll show you those once the recipe is done. So let me show you what's in the creamy chicken tacos. So first you're going to need some chicken breasts, about three to four chicken breasts, a jar or container of salsa of your choice, a six ounce container of cream cheese, and some taco seasoning. So the first thing we're going to do is add your chicken to the crock pot. I actually have a chicken tenderloins, that's what I had on hand. But like I said, you could use chicken breast, you could even use chicken thighs. Then you're going to add in your entire jar of salsa, eight ounces of cream cheese, and then taco seasoning. This is optional, it says in the recipe, but I'm definitely going to add it just so it tastes like authentic tacos. Make sure you're adding about one taco seasoning packet. Now you can either cook this on high for three hours or on low for four to five hours. It's about 12.30 here, so I'm actually going to set my crock pot to low, and then I may go ahead and turn it up to high just for the last hour or so if everything isn't cooked through all the way. So I just popped the lid off. My house smells so good. This is so tender. I mean, the chicken just falls apart. So I'm just roughly shredding it up here in the crock pot. And then we'll go ahead and put together the creamy chicken tacos. I have to say, I'm really excited for this. And what a quick, simple, minimal ingredient, super easy recipe. So here are the tortillas that I'm using. These are the La Tortilla Factory low carb tortillas. They are 70 calories a piece and they have five grams of protein and nine grams of fiber. I really like these. I got these at Costco, but you can find them at most grocery stores. So here is a dinner. So the recipe makes six servings, so it's quite a lot of the creamy chicken for each serving. So I just rolled it up in the tortilla, and then I have one of the little guacamole cups. These are the holy guacamole from Costco. So if you have avocado with zero points, this is going to be zero points. It's 130 calories for the cup. And then I have two tablespoons of daisy sour cream. And I think my plan is to just spread the sour cream, the guacamole over the taco. It sounds so good, really good, protein packed healthy fats dinner super easy to make so that is the creamy chicken crock pot tacos thank you for joining me for another recipe video i hope you enjoyed seeing these two super simple but delicious crock pot recipes i love a crock pot a crock pot is great in the summer if you don't want to turn on your stove and warm up your house a crock pot cooks your food really, I think, to the best taste and texture and consistency. And these two recipes were 10 out of 10. Don't forget all of the recipes are on my website, which is linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Sunday, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.